So now, you should have a smock that's all bound. I went back and I hemmed little ends on the bottoms, kind of back tacked over the, that little bit down there, made it nice and sturdy. Now I'm ready to reinforce it because I'm gonna put in a buttonhole and just one layer of cotton's kind of flimsy for a buttonhole. So you can do this if you have sew through fusible webbing. Um, you can put your two things together that way. But I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned doing putting in zippers and that is to use um, glue stick to baste something on there and then we're just gonna zigzag around the doubled fabric and we should be good to go to put in our buttonhole. So here we got my buttonhole foot. Um, most machines I think at this point have an automatic buttonhole foot that's like this. Um, it's not gonna be exactly like this, but it's gonna be kind of like this. So I'm going to put my button in there. See this is adjustable right here. And it fits, the button fits snugly right in the back of it. Now after that, you're gonna change the foot on your machine again. And the foot of the machine goes on just like that. Now, read your manual, but you will also have to adjust your stitch settings. So, this one, look, it's like a picture of a buttonhole. Can you see that? It's just like a buttonhole right there. All right, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna adjust my stitch length. I like a tight buttonhole so it's kind of smaller and my stitch width. Um, I recommend 3 to 6.5. Let's go with 4. All right. Now I have to drop down this other thing for my buttonholer. There's another little guide that has to be dropped down here. See it? Right there. Because that stops it. Now, mine goes backwards. So I'm starting where I want the bottom of the buttonhole to be. Now my piece of fabric is a lot bigger than my buttonhole. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take another button of a similar size. I'm gonna figure it out. I wanna be right about there. So I want the bottom of my buttonhole to be right about there. Um, and I'm gonna put that right under the buttonhole foot. Oh, sure. Sounds simple. Um, and I, my buttonhole goes backwards. So now, check it out. Here comes the buttonhole. So easy. Now I like to open them up using one of these little guys. Stick it in the bottom of the buttonhole very carefully. Just give a little bit of pressure up towards the top. Or if you have great little sharp scissors, you can do the same thing. Watch out, don't catch your threads. Trim off the long ones. It's a buttonhole! Hi, I'm a buttonhole. 
Now all we have to do is take our button, match up our buttonhole, and stitch it in place. And look, because we used it with our buttonholer, it fits perfectly. So when I'm sewing on a button, I really like to use double thread twice as fast. There it is, what do you think? We made smocks. Cute, huh? Love the riffraff. Anyway, I can't wait to see all the smocks you guys make. Make sure you post all your pictures at Sew Mama Sew. So thanks for playing along with me and uh, I'll see you around Blogland.